Hello, fire signs. Aries Leo Sag, how are you? How's it going? Um, this is a general read, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, so feel free to swap around the characters. I could be talking to a cross-watcher. Try to, um, I said this to the air signs, try to detach from a particular situation and see the reading uh, in a very uh, sort of dispassionate way. It matches with my situation. It doesn't match with my situation. If it's turned around, you know, really, I feel like I feel like there uh, any kind of messages of waiting has really triggered some people into like I've been waiting forever. Maybe somebody's waiting on you. So I wanted to say that to you guys too. Um, maybe somebody is waiting on you. So let's see where we go here. That message came through loud and clear in my morning um, tarot for myself that people are waiting for the wrong person. Someone's waiting on them to look around. Okay, so let's see where we go here. For you, darlings. P.S. We are doing the uh, astrology classes this week, reading your birth chart and your north node, what you're here on the planet to do. Links are below for that. Magician. Moving forward. Somebody's found their person. Waterfowl mate for life. Mask. Mask. Interesting. So this connection here, what's ahead, I feel like this is going to require you to drop all of, it's almost like you're going to have to drop all of the things about yourself that you have been you know, it's pretty innocently, um, you've created a persona for yourself. And this, this person, single person, coming in to be a couple with you, there's no third party here, I don't believe. Um, <clears throat> you could be single right now. And this person's coming in, it, it will, it, all of a sudden you'll be a couple, okay? And it's going to require, it's going to so have you shed all of your, let's use this, all of your um, previous thinking about relationships or, <clears throat> and them too. It's going to be a tremendous like un, unmask, unmask, you know, like in the, the shining, unmask, unmask, really seeing people for who they are. And I feel like if you have been creating a mask or you've been thinking that the other person has to look a certain way, this, this kind of really amazing, vulnerable, open love is going to have you change your mind. Okay? You're going to see, see true love. Wow. For you, my darling, the moon. Look at that. Manifesting on the new moon. It's almost like the moon is bringing the two teepees. I think those are teepees. They could be, um, I feel like she's on an iceberg in the middle of the water. And you're bringing together two parts of yourself or you're, you're revealing some parts of yourself that you've never revealed before. <coughs> right? In the, in the other decks and some other decks, the moon has a, a, a wolf and a dog. And the dog is domesticated. <clears throat> the wolf is wild. So there's pieces of you that are coming up through this relationship. Pieces are being revealed of you that you might have been afraid of in the past. They are um, uh, your dark, not your dark side, your uh, shadow side is being revealed. All pretenses are gone. Like this person sees you so clearly. Really sees you clearly. Chariot. Could be a water sign. Cancer. They could have Cancer Moon. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Cancer. This other person. Pisces energy here with you. <clears throat> What's this relationship about? Justice. Coming back together. This is the right person. Balance, Libra energy. This is very balanced, give and take, back and forth. 
This person might want to move fast. Four of Swords. Very healing. You're seeing the relationship in Four of Swords. You're just seeing it unfold. You're not having to really do anything. <coughs> Excuse me. There's no pushing. There's no runner chaser. King of Wands. You guys see eye to eye here. This person sees you very creative as a very creative person. They could um, match your intensity about this relationship. It's very balanced. Libra, I like that. <clears throat> Message to you from your higher self. Six of Wands. You're overcoming whatever inertia or fear. The universe says it's okay to overcome that here. Whoopsie, I got a flipper here. Two of Cups. This is the real deal, people. Let's see, message from the higher self. Eight of Cups. This person, um, let's see here. This person may have run away from another relationship or, you know, um, is hiding from another relationship or is hiding themselves. They walked away from something. They're now free of it. Okay, they're free of it. They had to walk away from an old way of doing things so they could find you. I feel like you might have been just, you know, sort of sitting in your fear for a long time about relationships in general. You might have not had very many uh, dates or relationships recently. Although I feel like people are looking at you. I don't feel like it's, I feel like you're deciding, you're, right, justice. You're making a decision. Four of Swords, very calculated about the Three of Swords, knowing that that was, see, the Three of Swords in her hair. She knew that that was her past, that she was hurt. And she's now holding on to that Ace of Swords truth, um, really, really following her own truth, seeing you got, you could be um, really seeing your own fear about relationships. And because of the balanced nature of this, Nine of Cups, Three of Pentacles. Okay, cool. Walking towards working it out together. Subconsciously for you, the moon energy here. <clears throat> two of Swords. Still blocking your heart a little bit, even though the Two of Cups is here. The universe is asking you to open up. Okay. Yes, the Fool. <laughs> universe is asking you to take a leap of faith. All right, just like this person, you see this person? They have their arms up, free, open, same with the fool. The universe is asking you to match their intensity, king of wands. Um, they could be another fire sign. Cancer, Libra. Temperance, <laughs> Sag. Um, yeah, this person could be another fire sign. If they're, if they're not a fire sign, they really are projecting uh, passion uh, for you. They are very patient. This person, um, the patient and balanced, working it out together, trying, you know, every single, we're just working on it, we're working on it, we're working on it. This person is taking action, taking action for you. One more. Page, <laughs> page of Wands. They might be showing themselves, um, they are the King of Wands, how they're seeing you as, you know, you're very passionate, very awesome, very um, high voltage sexuality kind of thing. This person may be um, balanced tempering themselves. Don't get ahead of yourself, right? Don't get ahead of yourself because you are acting kind of coolly toward them or you're still healing, still in a healing mode. And the universe is asking you to um, open yourselves up. Open yourselves up to love, two of cups up there. So this person may be offering you, you know, small messages of passion. You know, it's kind of, it's just like this person doesn't want to up, up in the balance here. It's a very nice balance. This person is very patient. And they do know that this is going to be a different kind of relationship. There may be more to it. 
Three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles, you and this person and the higher self are working together to bring this person um, closer to you. I do feel like um, they will come toward you. They will take action toward you because the fire, fire energy is here. Chariot is movement. Okay, you're very much sort of in your place, Four of Swords, Two of Swords, you know, really doing your work, Com things are coming up for you, feelings, knowing you want love, knowing that the universe is saying to you, hey, love is coming. When it does, you're like, okay, I'm ready. And all pretenses will be dropped. The mask will be dropped. The pretenses over here can be that, you know, we're friends or we're, you know, this person doesn't want to spook you. <laughs> they don't want to spook you by going too fast, but they do want to move forward quickly. They will, and they, they know that's going to spook you. So they're balancing themselves. They're trying to temper themselves. They're not being as passionately, uh, you know, full frontal with you. They don't want to spook you. All right. So I'm going to do an extended read. We are going to look at this person's true intentions, their feelings toward you, where we're, how this plays out, uh, blocks to overcome. And I will look at Libra, Cancer, Sag, Pisces. Libra, Cancer, Sag, Pisces. Okay? All right. Link is below. Fire sign. I'll see you over there.